for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the effort it takes, not only to be a part of this day, but to share in this commitment they now make to one another, to offer your love and support to their union and allow Joey and Kylie to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. Joey, you may kiss your bride. I'm tired of seeing all that fucking skin. Nothing. Just shoot your head. Well, Kylie, I like you a lot. You're awesome. Uh, Joey, I love you too. Uh, I like your hair, even though it's really not there. 
I love you. It's good. It's good. Big I got boy, Kenny, six to nine out, son. Kylie, do you remember when you dressed up in my mom's lingerie and we played in baby powder? <laughs> hey, Kylie and Joey, I love you. Kylie, I know I'm a living hell to live with, <laughs> but I promise I love you. Hey, we love you guys. Thank you guys for having such a beautiful night. Uh, hope the best for everybody. Joey, fuck you. <laughs> Kylie, the first time I met you, you were all slippery and wet, sliding out of my hands. But you're my firstborn, so love you. Wish you the best. Nothing but the best ever, you and Joey. Love you guys. I will tell you, Joey. Who has a sword? I am a long, long way. Um, I just wish so much for you, Boo. And I love you, Boo. I am the best. Thank you for having me. 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 Hey Kylie, uh, the first time I ever met you, you were with that douchebag ex-boyfriend before Joey. Thank God he ditched his ass because the first time I met him, I brought 18 beers. He drank about 12 of them. I'm out of my case. I was not thrilled at all on the boat. I was like, I don't like this guy already. Fuck Jason. A couple weeks later, you met Joey. It's over and done from there. I love Joey to death. Love you guys. Come on. Kylie and Joey, thank, thank you, you for having us tonight. We had so much fun, and I really wish you guys the best. Marriage is not always the easiest, but it's definitely the most fun. So make sure you always have fun, and love you guys. And I can't wait to see those little babies that you're going to have soon. Kylie and Joey, I want to say congratulations. You guys are a beautiful couple. In the last three or four years that you guys have been together, you have made it through so many obstacles and boundaries that no one could imagine. I love you guys more than anything. You guys are godparents to my daughter, Ella. And I want to say thank you for inviting me to your special day and making me a groomsman. It means the world to me, and I will return the favor someday. I love you guys. Kylie and Joey, I love you, and I wish you a Thanksgiving break. I, I love you both, and I'm so happy for you guys. And I ask one thing. Good babies, good babies. Love y'all. I wish you the best. Yeah. What you got to say? I'm really happy for the both of you, and your wedding was beautiful. Was. Kyle, you looked amazing. Joey, Papa's looking down. He's proud. We're all proud, and we love you all. All you guys are beautiful. Welcome to the family. Yeah. Love you. Yeah, love y'all. Love you so much. I wish you the best. I love you guys. This was so much fun and y'all have a happy life. I love you. Forever and ever and ever. Love you guys. Hi Joey. Congratulations. We're so excited for you guys and we wish you so many blessings and lots of babies and lots of good times. And we're so excited to celebrate this day with you and just so much love to you guys. And God bless you and best wishes. Bye. Happy wedding day, Kylie and Joey. I'm so happy for you. And you have a lifetime of happiness and love and joy and everything is great forever and ever and ever. Wait, say that a little louder. Sorry if I fart in my sleep tonight. All right, happy wedding day, Kai. Okay, um, I'm no Kylie like my wife. We used to sneak into her room. Talk to this like you're talking to Kylie. Please. We used to literally Please. sneak into her fucking room Please. and. Do you remember we drew all over her walls? We used to sneak into her room, draw on her walls, steal her shit. Oh, we used to be drawers. spies. And the burn would... book. No one thought we knew oh, about. Shit. We I knew. The knew. Burn book. We knew. We knew. We knew. You sneaky we little knew. We knew. We knew. So, what else? Um, I wish you a lifelong. <laughs> of no one digging through your drawers like we did. Yes, and of privacy. And I wish that your kids aren't as sneaky and annoying as all of you. I just want to ask 